milk is considered the perfect food, perfect nutrition in our country. But as a senior gastroenterologist, I see in my daily practice milk causing variety of problems, acidity, gas, bloating, loose motions. In this video today, I will answer very important questions. When should you drink milk? When should you avoid it? What is the right time to drink milk? And who should not have milk at all? Most of us remember our childhood where our parents, grandparents used to chase around the house to make sure that we got a glass of milk. That's because milk has been for a long time considered as fantastic for our health, our well-being. It's got variety of nutrients including calcium, protein, vitamins, fats, lipids, amino acids. In my daily gastroenterology practice, I see so many people, especially nowadays above the age of 30, having a lot of issues tolerating milk. So many younger people are having this lactose intolerance. So what happens when we consume milk? There is an enzyme called lactase in our small intestine that breaks down the natural sugar lactose that's in the milk into smaller molecules, what we call as glucose and galactose. So this can be easily absorbed by our body. This enzyme lactase, if let's if you look at the babies, they have very high quantities so they can digest milk very quickly. But as we age, the level of lactase enzyme starts to reduce, especially above the age of 30, it can start going down slowly. When you do not have adequate quantities of this enzyme lactase, then you start to get into problems when you consume milk. So typically lactose intolerance symptoms can start within half an hour to two hours once you consume milk. Commonly bloating, excess of gas, feeling uncomfortable. Some people immediately have to rush to the toilet within half an hour of consuming milk. In people who have genuine lactose intolerance, because of this deficiency of lactase enzyme, the lactose in the milk, what happens is it reaches the large intestine straight without the enzyme being there to digest in the small intestine. So that causes bloating, diarrhea, excess of gas. One of the most important question is, is drinking milk better in the morning or is it better at night? Milk contains lactose, which is sugar, carbohydrate. So it contains casein, whey protein, it contains fat. All this can slow the gastric emptying, which means it can sit in the stomach for longer. So if you consume it first thing in the morning on an empty stomach, especially when you have some degree of slow gastric emptying, milk can sit there for longer, causing you fullness, bloating. Especially for those people who have sensitivity, who have some degree of lactose intolerance, they might not even know about it. So what about drinking at night? Many people have the habit of drinking milk at night. Certainly, children. As a child, I remember having a glass of milk. So our parents, grandparents used to say it helps you to sleep better. There is science in it. Milk contains tryptophan, which helps release this serotonin hormone. And that in turn promotes the production of melatonin hormone, which we need for sleep. So the timing is very important. As a gastroenterologist, I wouldn't recommend drinking milk just before going to bed because it causes insulin release because it has got carbs in the milk which can disrupt your this internal clock, what we call as this uh, circadian uh, rhythm. For those people who want to have a glass of warm milk in the evening at night, it is better to be taken an hour, at least an hour and a half before you hit the bed. There is of course no universally wrong time, but for a lot of people, the evenings and night time seem to be better, especially for the kind of people I see in my gastroenterology practice, who have a sensitive gut and who are always complaining frequently of this bloating issue. The other question is, what about taking milk to relieve acidity? Milk buffers the stomach acid temporarily. Naturally, you'll get some instant relief of that burning sensation, that uncomfortable feeling, but it is brief. If you were to be drinking full fat milk, the protein, the calcium, the lactose in the milk can in fact increase the gastric acid secretion later. So many, so many patients I see in my gastroenterology practice with GERD, gastroesophageal reflux disease, acidity, gastritis reporting symptoms worsening after taking milk. So milk might give you temporary relief, but it's not a solution or treatment for people who are getting repeated acidity, repeated reflux. For people who feel worse with milk, especially those with chronic acidity, those who have IBS, those who may have hiatus hernia, where there is a significant chance of reflux, regurgitation, you should try and limit it. Finally, who should avoid milk completely? 
you need to either limit the intake of milk or cut out completely if you have been diagnosed with severe lactose intolerance which we can prove by a lactose intolerance breath test. If you are suffering from IBS because people with IBS are prone for bloating so I tend to advise them to keep the milk intake to minimal. If you are suffering from chronic acidity, gastroesophageal reflux disease, drinking milk repeatedly to relieve your symptoms, it's not going to solve your acidity problem. You will end up actually gaining weight, especially because in a lot of people in our country, they drink this full fat milk. For those who are having frequent loose motion, people who have sensitive gut, people who have IBS where they get frequent uh, loose uh, stools, or even for those people who have inflammatory bowel disease where milk itself can aggravate the number of times they're passing stool, they should either cut out completely or limit of course. There are alternatives to milk. So if you can't tolerate milk, there is curd, yogurt, buttermilk, paneer, cheese. So there is lactose free milk of course. But some people do not have any problem tolerating small amount of milk. Let us say if you're having a cup of tea, cup of coffee, small amount of milk to whiten the coffee or tea, that you might be finding it all right. So each individual is different. Milk is not bad, but it's not for everyone. It's not about good or bad, it is specific to each individual. Milk, of course, is it's nutritionally fantastic. The timing, the quantity, how much you drink, how, um, when you take, the tolerance, everything matters. For more gut health, evidence-based content, please subscribe to this channel from Bangalore Gastro Center Hospitals and do comment uh, in the comment section any topics that you want us to talk about. Thank you.